Hey guys, this is an unboxing and initial review of an Octua NF-A4X10 5 volt premium fan. This is a 40 millimeter fan by 10 millimeter deep or 10 millimeter wide. This runs on 5 volts. And this is not the PWM version. This runs on one speed. Um, this is going to be my first Noctua fan and I'll be using it to install onto a Lorex NVR to make it a lot more quiet. Upon first impression, looks like it's packaged well. I've never had a Noctua fan before because the color always threw me off. It just had a really weird color combo, but I do hear that they are the best in the market. And right now, or as I got older, I started to care less about the way things look and more for the performance and the value. And my aim right now is to make that NVR that I have in our closet as quiet as possible. This is the back cover. Shows the features. Five volt. It does come with some adapters, but we'll go ahead and see what it comes with as soon as we open it. All right. Comes with the manual. Shows you how to use these rubber pegs, which is nice. Um, so it isolates the vibration. That's a big thing with noise. Just have to make sure that you install it the correct way because they can be a little confusing. I used to have an Antec True Quiet, or I'm not 100% sure what model it was, but they did have a um, model of fans that used something similar to this, and I completely did it the wrong way and they didn't sell these separately so you got to make sure you follow the instructions and that you install them correctly instructions are straightforward should be a straightforward install into whatever you're going to install it in this is the fan it's 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter by 10 millimeter wide or deep or thick um, has a lot of features that I have not actually seen in other fans, such as these lines. It would probably be more pronounced on their larger fans, maybe the 120 millimeter fans or the 90 millimeter fans. Um, this is a three pin, and on these three pin fans, it's usually uh, power, ground, or plus minus, and the yellow is usually the tachometer signal. Um, not all the time will you come or come across a situation where it will even utilize the, the tachometer signal. So that's usually on um, PCs when you hook it up directly to the motherboard. So just verifying, this is uh, five volt. And it comes with the standard three pin that any computer motherboard would usually have. These are those rubber installation fasteners. You can see in the manual how to install them properly. You end up having to cut them. Comes with four of them. As for the adapters, looks like it comes with a extension. Yeah, this appears to just be an extension. It does not look like it changes the configuration of the pins at all. Looks like the same connector. Yep, definitely just an extension. This plugs directly into the fan right here. I see we have a converter or adapter. This will only utilize the two pins to operate the fan, so you won't have a tachometer signal. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a Molex connector. I've seen this a lot in um, RC. Um, but yeah, it's a three to two pin adapter. Wow, this is really nice. So it comes with this adapter that will convert it to just two uh, flying leads and it even comes with these, uh, these uh, how do you explain it? Couplers or terminal blocks? Or basically, um, it's like a terminal, a butt. I wouldn't call it a butt terminal because a butt terminal is when you butt two things together, but this is side by side. So I'm not sure what these are called, but it's basically if you want to tap into an existing connector. 
and it comes with screws. So it looks like you can use the normal screws, but if you want to really utilize or um, make it as quiet as possible, I highly recommend using these. It will really isolate the vibrations from resonating onto the case. Um, I have my power supply here, so we'll go ahead and just do a, a quick test. We'll just go ahead and put five volts into it and see how loud it is just uh, free riding at full throttle. Let's put this to the side real quick. So I have an adjustable DC power supply here and I'll set it up to five volts. Perfect, five volts, go ahead and fire her up. This one disconnected. My alligator clip's pretty worn. Hopefully that'll stick. We'll do the standing up so that doesn't create a vacuum or try to hover. I'm actually pretty curious to see how loud this is going to be. Let's try to... Oh, I guess we're going to have to set it down like this when I connect it first. Holy shit. You, like... I can't even hear it. Right now it's pulling um, about... 51 milliamps, which is very low power. Um, I do hear a slight hum, but I think that's just a vibration resonating to the, or through the table. But when I hold it up here, I can't even hear it. Let me uh, put the mic close to it. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that. Maybe that's the breeze that it's pushing or something. But this thing is like, dead silent. If I was to close my eyes, I would have never known that there was a fan that's on right next to me. And then when I set it down, you can probably hear it. the vibrations resonating through the table. But even then, if I close my eyes, I still can't, I still wouldn't be able to detect that there was a fan going right next to me. And this is at full speed at five volts at its rated voltage. So far, I'm really happy about the noise levels and about the way it looks. I'm um, hoping that it will fit into my installation on my Lorex NVR, right? And then um, I'm very excited to see how quiet it's going to be. So, wow. Go ahead and shut that off. There you have it, guys. This is the Noctua NF-A4X10 fan. So far, man, I'm really excited to be able to put this to use. And it seems like uh, money's well worth. I actually bought this on Amazon for $13.95 plus tax, free shipping. And Amazon is actually an authorized reseller for Noctua. When I went on the Noctua website and then I went on uh, the link of where to buy, it shows Amazon as one of their uh, authorized vendors. So very happy, very excited, and um, stay tuned. Uh, you'll probably see a video on my um, YouTube channel on me installing this onto that Lorex NVR that I'm talking about. So stay tuned for that as well. Thank you.